what is McKinsey's most commonly used phrase? Uh, she doesn't really say phrases a lot, I guess. She does call me boo, which is weird. But she, I think it should be the other way around. I don't think boo is a masculine Anyways, I would say she says that more than anything. She calls me boo, her, her boo. So, and I, what would she say is my most commonly used phrase? Uh, I like to say cool beans because. Um, I just, it's, it's a cool thing to say, cool beans. Things are cool beans, man. So, yeah, that. What is the best meal she has ever cooked for you? Well, let's see. Uh, I think it would have to be her lasagna. That's pretty good. I like the lasagna recipe, and she does a great job at that. Delicious. Uh, and the worst meal that she ever cooked me. Uh, um, that's a tough one. <laughs> uh, you know, Mackenzie doesn't, I was, mm, she doesn't cook often, we don't cook often, but when she does cook, it's usually pretty good, so there's nothing that really stands out as like, oh, it was the worst nasty meal you ever cooked, nasty, so I'll, I'll pass, I pass, to the next, to the next question. Okay, um, if I could throw away one item of her clothing, um, first of all, I want to say that McKinsey has exquisite taste in clothes, which is great. You wear, you wear clothes good, and, but the thing that I, I would throw away is probably the, uh, the frog and the toucan shower caps. Uh, while funny at first, uh, kind of are strange after a while. And if you've never seen them, it is their their shower caps that are one is green with frog eyes, and one is a, a, a toucan with a beak coming out of the top. And it's um, it's distracting, and uh, I would say unnecessary. Uh, so yeah, that's what I would throw away. Maybe maybe get like a a regular shower cap. I don't know. Uh, what uh, piece of clothing would she throw away of yours? Well, the, it's very interesting that you say this question to me or, um, because uh, I think there's no way that she could uh, only pick one piece of clothing. I think she would throw away 75% of all the clothing I've ever owned. She does not like my clothing and in fact she normally dresses me uh, on the occasions that we go outside. She's pretty f flexible when I am inside the house, but when we have to be outside, uh, uh, she will make sure that uh, I am acceptable to society and stuff like that. So 
usually what I pick, what I think is good to go outside is not good enough. So she would throw away at least 75% of my clothes and make me dress um, as a, uh, a male model. Um, uh, you know, one of them uh, metro, metro sex wolves. Uh, what animal best describes Mackenzie's personality? Um, I would say that it's hard to pick just one animal. So I would say she's like a mix of animals. You know? Maybe like a, uh, a hummingbird. Because it's it's a uh, very energetic it, it uh, flies around maybe like a squirrel because uh, you know squirrels uh, maybe uh, like a dolphin kind of like a dolphin in many ways, very smart, smart animals, dolphins. Uh, so, uh, you know, dolphin, squirrel, hummingbird. Yeah. What animal would she say describes me and why? Well, you know, I. I think I would be the, the majestic llama uh, because, you know, the llama is, well, majestic and it's uh, beautiful, has this nice fur, you know, so we got that going and also because, um, you know, they say that the llama is the goat. Of, of the mountains uh, but it's not not to be confused with a mountain goat but I, I guess what I'm saying is uh, I would be a llama because I like to um, be on top of um, of, uh, of rocks and stuff I like to I like to walk on on, on rocks and around um, and, and around rocks and so do llamas. <laughs> what would you? What is your favorite quality about Mackenzie? Well, uh, uh, ever since I when I first met Mackenzie, I noticed that. Uh, that she's pretty funny and uh, I like that most about her because not many people can make me genuinely laugh over and over again um, and the thing I, I like that she's really weird um, she can out weird me which some people might think is not probably not possible, but she can out weird me. She can out weird me, and she does on a regular basis. And um, but I like that. It's fun, and uh, you know I hadn't met anyone like quite like that before. And uh, that's I think that's my favorite quality about. McKinsey. Uh, what would she say her favorite quality, quality about you is? Uh, well, I'm glad you asked that. Um, for a while now, I've been um, practicing some stuff, and uh, I, I know she loves it. And it's, uh, 
It, it's loud, um, but it's beautiful. And uh, yeah, I, you know, I just happen to have it right here. I, I think I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just play a little something for you. Just a, sweet. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, okay. The end. What would you say your most annoying habit is? Well, I think that's when she is reading in bed and, uh, and she falls asleep, um, usually with her glasses still on and, uh, you know, the light is still on. She just falls asleep, you know, just out, doesn't turn off the light, take off her glasses or close her book. So I have to I get up and, you know, mark, mark her book where she was and place it on the, on the nightstand and take her glasses off her face and play. Uh huh, and then and then you know turn off the light. Uh huh, yeah. And then I can go, I can go back, and and then go to sleep. But my goodness, you know. <laughs>
what is the nicest thing you have ever done for her? Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, let me uh, well, let me get the list out. <laughs> let me get my nice list out for things I've done. Uh, uh, I would say the nicest thing I've ever done for Mackenzie is. I would say um I don't know. It's a tough. It's a tough question. Mm, maybe uh, uh November. 27 2009 um, I don't know that's just a lie I don't do nice things So this is a little song that I wrote many years ago. Um, came to me in a dream, and you know, uh, it's it's a song about the um, the rest of the Miller family. You know, Mackenzie has thousands of songs that I've written for her, and but this one's more for um, Jim and Karen and Jordan. So I, I hope you enjoy. It. <clears throat> Jim and Karen, 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 Jordan, 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 Jim and Jordan, 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 Jim and Karen, Jim and Karen, Jim and Karen, Jim and Karen, Jim and Karen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>